Hello YouTube! Welcome back to my channel! Woo! I'm going to be doing a little tattoo tour video. I'm going to be going through and showing off all my ink. And if there's a little story, I'll tell you that. But yeah, let's just get right into it. Let's start. When Jennifer Ann Broders turned 18, that was a marvelous day. I was always forbidden to ever getting tattoos. And so I decided to just go crazy on my 18th birthday. I went and got my cartilage pierced and I went and got a tattoo. <sighs> it hurt so bad. I literally had to have earplugs in, like have a face mask on, had to lay on a bed for a wrist tattoo. It was really embarrassing. I am so embarrassed now thinking about it, but whatever. So my three hearts on my wrist. There really is no meaning behind it. I always drew like hearts and like the, uh, you go like heart, 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 it's just like this little design thing. I drew that on like every single thing. And so I was like, hmm, let's get that for my first tattoo. But anyways, on to the next tattoos. We're just gonna start and go down my whole sleeve. So this sleeve started out with this, how do we do this? This rose here. Um, it's the rose from Beauty and the Beast. We have the petals going down. It was done by, I don't even remember his name. But he did like this part of the sleeve. So we started with this and then I wanted like the globe to go over all of it. But it would it would look weird. So we decided to then go with these two roses here. They first were black and white. And then I went back and I was like I want some color. So I put some red and green in there. And then we went and did this little globe, like the uh, original, like, the rose. Uh, I wanted something really cute and pretty, so I got this little bow. I worked at a tattoo shop while I was in college and right after, and the shop was just starting out, so I got paid in tattoos. So every two weeks, I got tattooed, and so whenever I couldn't think of anything, I would just get, like, skulls, and yeah, pretty much just skulls, or, like, anything that had to do with the skull. So that's how I got a lot of my tattoos. And we'll start with the little sculler fly right here. So cute. My little studious man, Mr. Potter, I used to call him. He was so cute. I loved him. I love this tattoo. I got 11 tattooed on me on November 11th, 2011. And yeah, it was like 11 11. 11-11, like the date. It was like perfect. I, and I always make wishes on 11-11, so I was like, I have to get 11-11 on, tattooed on me just for like extra good luck. I got the Social Distortion Skeleton tattooed on me. I'm really not like a huge fan of the band. I just like remember seeing a concert poster of theirs. And I was like, oh my god, what is that skeleton? He looks so cute with like the martini glass and the cigarette. And I was like, I need that tattooed on me. I got my horoscope symbol on me. I'm a Virgo. This was literally just like a little filler tattoo. Had like my everything filled in and I just wanted like this little part filled and it just like worked perfectly. So I got this little spider. He's a little cutie. And then one of my favorite tattoos is this portrait of my dog as my little prince. I love that tattoo so much. Also going with the animal theme, I had a black cat and so I have my little um, vamp kitty. Here's Harold the Wizard. <laughs> this whole sleeve I described as like hocusy pocusy, magical fun. My last few, I've got my sugar skull, my little um, wolf, my ferocious wolf, and my funny duck. If you watch Family Guy, I always picture this duck having the um, the voice of Quagmire. I partook in the Friday the 13th festivities. I got a coffee cup with like you could see the um the smoke or the the steam of the cup is 13. And then this candlestick literally was just like cute and filler. I did my filler as bat stars and moons. So there's there's this sleeve. I think I got it all down. This sleeve will start with this one. This piece is a beast. Oh my gosh. I literally can't think of what I want on this hand because this hand was just so perfect. And like your hands have to be like the most perfect hand tattoos or like your best tattoos because you look at them all the time. And then this um, pumpkin I got from a friend. He was apprenticing uh, so he was just doing a lot of little small tattoos not too detailed and I was like I want a cute little pumpkin. 
and because I love Halloween so much. And then, like, probably my favorite tattoo I have is my witch, my beautiful witch. I got her in Boston. Um, she's just so pretty. I'm obsessed with her. I got this done on Best Ink, um, season three, I think it was. Um, Janie Lepore did it. I got my knuckles tattooed. So I got Rockstar because, like, I just love all the rock stars and the rock star life. And I'm just a total rock star. Before that, I got, when I worked at the tattoo shop, I got this heart on my middle finger because I was such a little badass and I always like took pictures like sticking my middle finger up and my tongue up so like this is totally me like I got my dots done also I love these so much I was bored while a friend was getting tattooed and I literally just like drew on my fingers with eyeliner and then I went to like the artist I was like oh my god can we tattoo these and so he tattooed the dots and they're just like so pretty they're they're one of my favorites. They're just like, make my nails and everything look so fancy and dainty and just like, oh. And I got like the, um, the Harry Potter, um, what's it called? Lightning Bolt. Because I love Harry Potter. And then I got like the vamp lips because who doesn't love vampires and like freaky things. So the little lips with fangs because and on this finger, this was like my most recent tattoo. Um, I got it at New York Hardcore, my little rose, it's so the perfect little finger tattoo. So that's all my arms and hands, so we'll go into my face tattoos I guess. So I was really smart when I first moved to California and I got cast for this tattoo show that actually didn't even air and I was supposed to get a portrait of Dwight from The Office. Production ran so late and blah 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 blah. So they didn't have time to do like a whole big portrait. They came up to me and they were like, would you get like a face or neck tattoo? And at this point in my life, I was like, yes, like I'd always wanted to like do like my whole head, like shave some of it, like do everything. And so I was like, yeah, let's just do my face right now. So I got like a few bats and a moon and clouds and I had it for like a year or two. Then I started getting it removed because I don't know, it was just like not me. I'm like... I'll get tattoos like here down, but like on the face it was just like weird. So I've gotten like 13 sessions of removal. You can kind of like see it still. Everyone thinks it's like hair color or eyeshadow that's like smeared on my face. And I'm like, no, it's just my face tattoo. But yeah, so you can't even see it really, which is good because it's almost coming up. Also, I have my lip tattooed. If you saw my 50 questions video, so I'll show you. So... Yeah, it says Warped. I loved Warped Tour so much when I was little. I literally would go to like five tour dates every year and road trip it all. I was disgusting. Well, go down to my legs. This umbrella scene here, it's not finished, but I kind of like the outline of it. This will just go behind the leg. I got the skeleton with a top hat and the casket with roses all around it. I don't know, I just really like dead things. And then going up, I got the man, Nikki Six, my only portrait I have on me. I really want Nikki to um, autograph next to it so I can get that tattoo because that would just be so perfect. So and going up, I have the, a girl kissing a skeleton with the Mick Mars hat. I got Fuck Yeah, We Can Live Like This lyrics from Jack's Mannequin. So I got that tattooed on me with like a city scene because I was a crazy little kid. I let another apprentice tattoo me and she, I think I was like the third or second person she's ever tattooed and she just did like a skull and crossbones on me. So my right leg I have done is the quote, the only tattoo I ever got like a matching tattoo with someone was my friends from Minnesota. We got um, rock and roll junkie tattooed on us and a band-aid. Um, it was like a Motley Crue slash almost famous like vibe and yeah we got that tattoo together and underneath it I got four skeletons dancing like so the last tattoo I got done was um my zebra on my back um that was like my first huge tattoo it was like my second tattoo I'd ever gotten and it was just like monstrous my, like my dad saw it because it was like my default picture on MySpace and <laughs> He like called me. He was so angry, but yeah, I kind of love it. I sometimes forget that I have it, but it's just like my zebra. But yeah, that's all of my tattoos.
That was so much fun. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna make sure you are subscribed and I hope you give this a big thumbs up. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time on the Jennifer Rogers channel. <laughs>